Hello everyone, in this video we're going to show you 5 productivity tricks that will greatly enhance your team's collaboration and productivity in Microsoft Teams. These features are all available right now and will greatly improve how your team works together within your workspaces. So let's get started. Tip number one is automating approvals within a team. Approvals are now available for you and your colleagues to use directly within a team's channel. While writing a conversation post, you have a brand new add-in and function. When we create an approval in a team's channel, all the users in the channel will be able to view the approval as a post. Select the approval symbol to start creating your approval and send along files for review. A new approval request will be created. Insert the name of the approval, and below, also insert the names of the approvers you will be sending the approval to. It's best practice when using the built-in approvals of a team's channel to only insert users that are members of the team. Remember, if you insert multiple approvers, the require response from all approvers toggle will be automatically turned on, which requires all of the approvers to send a response for the approval to be marked as complete. You can turn this toggle off to only require one approver from the list to respond or remove the multiple users until there's just one approver left. We can add additional information in the space provided and below select add attachment to insert the file you want to be approved or rejected. Then select upload for my computer. Select the file and then select open. Your file will be attached for the approver to access. You can also customize the responses by using the custom responses toggle if you wish. Then select send and your approval will be sent to the users you want to check your file. It will also be posted into the team's channel for all of the team members to see. The user or users you sent the approval to will receive their notification and be able to respond. The result will be visible for all users in the team's channel to view. For more information on Teams approvals, check out our full approvals video. There's a link in the description. Tip number two is using lists in a team. Microsoft lists are a fantastic way to collaborate on information amongst your colleagues. They allow you to create interactive lists that are fully customizable and for all the team members to access and add information within them. We add lists as tabs in a Microsoft Teams channel. Select the plus icon from within the channel that you wish to add it to. Then select lists from the available apps. Select save and we now have the option to create a brand new list or connect an existing list that you have access to. Just note that if you were to add an existing list to a team, all of the team members will need access from SharePoint to be able to view and edit that list. We'll create a brand new list for our team to collaborate on in this case. Select Create a list from the options. You'll be brought to a new page where you can create a new blank list to customize all of the different fields and columns, create a list from an Excel file, or use an existing list. Below, there's templates that Microsoft has made available for you to use. These templates come ready out of the box for you and your team to use collaboratively. If your organization has any list templates, they'll also be available from this list. We'll create a list from a template in this case, but you can always check out our Microsoft List video, available in the description for a full walkthrough of the Lists application in Microsoft Teams, which shows you how to fully customize a list to suit your specific needs. I'll select the Issue Tracker template from the list for me and my team to track different issues that arise during this project, so we don't lose track of them. You'll see a preview of the list from which we can select Use Template. We'll give the list a name, insert a description, choose a color, and also select an icon for this list. Then I'll select Create. The list will become available as a tab within the team's channel, and every member of the team that has access to that channel will be able to add, edit, and access the different items. Briefly, to add a new item, select New Item. As each list is different, the fields that we need to fill in will also change depending on the fields within that specific list. Insert the appropriate information and select save. The item will be created and all the users within the team will be able to view and access it. Using lists will help us track important information in a collaborative way. 
Any user within the team can access the list and select the different items to view the full information on that specific item. Once you access a list item, you can select the different fields to edit them, which will save automatically for everyone else when they view it. Try using lists for your team to keep track of different information amongst your colleagues. Tip number three is using a shared OneNote notebook. This is one of our favorite and simplest ways to greatly improve productivity within a team. We always recommend that each team share and collaborate on a shared notebook within a Microsoft team to share meeting notes, generate ideas, and share information amongst each other. Connecting and starting a shared notebook is easy as well. Select the plus icon to get started, and then select OneNote. When you select OneNote, you'll see a list of available notebooks for you to connect. You'll also notice that by default, there's a notebook named the same as your team. One of the things that's created automatically when a team is created is a shared notebook. It's created in the background for you and just needs to be connected. You can select the default notebook to connect this team's default notebook, which all team members already have access to, or create a new notebook to create a new shared one amongst this team and its members. I'll connect the default notebook by selecting it, and then by selecting save. Your new tab will load and you'll see OneNote become available within the Microsoft team. All users of this team are able to access this notebook to view and take collaborative notes. If you haven't used OneNote previously, don't worry, it's a simple app. When you select the book icon in the top left, you'll see the structure of the notebook. OneNote notebooks are separated by sections, and those sections house pages. The pages house the notes. You can create a new section by selecting Add Section, entering a section name, where a good example would be Meeting Notes, and then by selecting OK. Now, every time you have a meeting amongst your team, you can select Add Page, title it, and then take notes. Everyone on the team will be able to access these notes at any time, add to them, and review them. Tip number four is forwarding emails to a channel. We're able to forward emails that we receive in Outlook to a team's channel. This will allow the team's channel members to collaborate on the best possible response. This one is relatively quick, but greatly improves collaboration and enhances important client or partner responses. A good example would be forwarding support emails to a support channel of a team for the team to collaborate on. First, we'll create a new channel by selecting the ellipsis next to the team and then selecting Add Channel. Then we'll name the channel, in this case Support, and then select Add. The new channel will be created in the team. Now, to forward emails, we need to get the channel email address. All Microsoft Teams channels have an email address that you can send emails to they'll populate in the channel as a new post. Select the ellipsis of the channel you want to forward an email to, and then select Get Email Address. Then select Copy. Now we have to head to Outlook. From your Outlook app, you can forward any email to that email address. In this case, we received a support email. Select Forward of the email, and then paste that copied email address into the To field. When you send that email, it will appear within the channel as a new post. Users are able to reply to the post and we can collectively craft a response. Tip number five is adding a channel calendar. Shared calendars in Teams channels are finally here. We're able to insert a shared calendar in a Teams channel to have multiple people collaborate on the same calendar. Every user in the Teams channel will be able to add events to this calendar and you'll also be able to add events from this calendar to your own. To add a channel calendar, select the ellipsis from the team's navigation pane and then search for calendar in the search bar. Select channel calendar from the options. From this pop-up, select add to a team. We now need to choose a channel to add the calendar to. Search for the channel you want to add the calendar to, select it, and then select set up a tab. We'll have to give the calendar a name and then select Add. We now have a shared calendar in a Microsoft Teams channel. All team members are able to add events to this calendar, which could be used as a Teams meeting calendar or for an event itinerary. You can select Add New Event to create events for this calendar. 
Meetings created from a channel calendar are automatically and permanently channel meetings. You can insert the title and the required attendees for this meeting. You can adjust the date and time and insert an agenda in the meeting details as well. Finally, select send and your meeting will be sent to the attendees you inserted and also be available within the channel calendar and the channel itself. One advantage of using a channel calendar is the ability to add events from this shared calendar to your own calendar. Even if you are not invited to the meeting, because it is a shared calendar, you can select the meetings from the shared calendar to join them or double click them to access them in full. When you open the full meeting, you'll see the option to add this meeting to your calendar. This allows you to add shared resource events to your own calendar. Select add to calendar and you'll be added as an attendee. The meeting will be added to your own calendar, which we can see from our own calendar view. We hope you enjoyed our five productivity tips to enhance your collaboration at Microsoft Teams. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out our description for coupon codes on our various Udemy courses.